to be honest with you, I knew it was definitely between me and you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if she rocks color, mm -hmm. but I, I can't be black and gray. Never beats color. Mm -hmm. it just doesn't. It well, it does in the judge's eyes though. It will always that is, it will always be color in in Ink Master. Black and gray will always be color. You know, I didn't think of that, but it's true. And you know, they have a criteria. Mm -hmm. It is it is a they're looking for a specific type of situation, I believe. Pretty much. But I mean, like when when uh, Clint and I went back on for the episode, like we pegged Joey, like we pegged him, and like like we knew he fit the criteria. He was putting t like solid workout, and uh, he just had that like. Um, thing I think that they were looking for that both like you had and Shane had it was just kind of like he's not quite completely knowledgeable like, like basically like he's not a complete celebrity um, but really technical doing tattoos for a long time and is really awesome at black and gray yeah so now yeah, that seems to be the uh, mm -hmm. so far the winning formula for at least three seasons anyway yeah I just wish um, they'd be more open to the styles that are now yeah. I mean, I know mm -hmm. they're doing Ink Master. It would be great if they just kind of, mm -hmm. okay, that's what was. This mm -hmm. is what is. This is what the trend is now. Like, mm -hmm. more full color realism, more, not using tons of outline anymore. Mm -mm. You know, I, I understand, we all understand, you know, the longevity and stuff, but you got to follow the trends. Mm -hmm. You know, back in my day, single needles are a trend. It sucks. Yeah. It doesn't hold up, but everybody did it. Mm hmm I've been experimenting like with color tattoos and I mean like I'm not using a black outline but I'm still lining and I'm like I'm filling in a lot of the tattoos with liners to create that barrier to have that longevity in a color portrait and like a lot of other people are, are creating that too with super saturation and like almost uh, like a pixelation with how they're approaching doing a right. tattoo and they do heal perfectly and they don't change. I've right. seen I've seen a tattoo done like that two three years old that it looks exactly the same way as the day that it was done, so I I think I mean black and gray is always going to be classic, but yes. you know I think I think things should be a little bit more fair when it comes to the judging of of pieces. All right, you know really? I mean like with Craig like he got sent home for black and gray on a proportion challenge. That's where it gets a little unclear guess, yeah. of what they're looking for, um, because you know. How can you have a second season where no one wins Japanese again? Wait, that happened again this season? Nobody won. What? Nobody what? Won, nobody won the Japanese challenge. Again. What? Yeah. People went to the bottom, but no one won again. Are you kidding me? No. Did any... <laughs> okay, here's... Joey, the... Joey had the best one. Uh-huh. But it wasn't traditional Japanese. He did a killer Anya mask right here. But Jesse's wasn't traditional Japanese, and he won. His was as more traditional than okay. all of ours. Yeah. I mean, but they didn't want to give it to him. They just gave it to him. Yeah. So, I mean, I just wish they'd open to like styles like Craig's and Jesse's and Jimmy's. Like, be a little more open to. Like Jimmy made a perfect point last night on the show. He's like, you know, these guys copy. Mm -hmm. They did these super realism pieces, and you know, baby cut and pasted and put it together and did a great tattoo. Joey's like, I create. I take what is and change it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a great a point. A good point. A really good point. Like, she took a picture of a wolf and a picture of an Indian and put it together and added her own elements, yeah. But I mean, I never thought of it where if you do a full color portrait, you're just copying what's there. Unless you change a lot of the lighting and stuff like that, which is one of the reasons why, like, when people say, like, oh, you're, you're tracing your copy and can't come up with anything original, well, why don't you just change the lighting in the portrait? Why don't you add different elements and you can do this in Photoshop or right. go over it with a pencil and, and like well, make well, it your own. Well, but I think, you know, just because you take a portrait and you change it from blue to green, mm -hmm. I get that, but he made a great point of, you know, his style, Craig's style, Jesse's mm -hmm. style, they're they're creating. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more of a photorealist artist too, where mm -hmm. I just, you know, tick some skulls and, mm -hmm. yeah, I draw my own skulls, but it's still a skull. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a skull. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, but, and I, mm -hmm. I like that point that he made, like he actually creates. Mm -hmm. He sits down and draws Remember His our season own. with Jesse? It was like the first like two weeks that he was there. He filled up almost three sketchbooks front and back, every single page with these weird characters. Right, and they just... I could never do that. I can't do it. And they just... I don't know, I wish it would show more of that. Mm -hmm. More creativity versus, all right, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do a traditional challenge, which everybody's going to trace it. Mm -hmm. Or draw it exactly like the original. But it's going to be wrong. And it's going to be wrong. <laughs> Something's going to be wrong. You cannot. <laughs>